Looking for a fruity and refreshing mocktail to enjoy this summer? Well, stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are passionate about nutrition through nourishing foods and organic supplements. So today, we are going to be making a mango ginger mocktail. Let's begin today by chopping up our fresh mangoes. First, carefully peel off the skin. Just depending on how ripe and juicy your mango is, it can get pretty slippery. So take your time and move slowly. Next, slice off the four sides lengthwise, getting as close to the pit as possible. Two of the sides will be larger than the other two. Chop up your mango into smaller pieces. And then I'd like to go back and see if there's any of the mango flesh that I missed so that none of the delicious fruit is wasted. Measure out three cups worth, which is about three large mangoes or five small ones. Add your chopped up mango to a blender. Next, let's add in the juice of one lime, which is about two tablespoons worth, one sixteenth a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, one to two scoops of organic greens for an extra boost of nutrients, enzymes, and probiotics. Blend everything up until you reach a nice, smooth, even consistency. Depending on the ripeness and sweetness of your mangoes, you may need to add in one to two tablespoons of filtered water or desired sweetener. When you are ready to serve, pour your mango mixture over ice and then add in your ginger beer. So the ratio I'm using is about one third mango mixture to two thirds ginger beer. Stir everything together and now it is ready to enjoy. Okay, our mango ginger mocktail is ready for a taste. Let's stir it up real quick. That is so delicious. I love the ginger beer that we're using. It's really strong, so I can really taste the ginger. There's just a little bit of sweetness from the mango and the lime just adds a whole nother level of flavor. So here's the thing, make this work for you. You want more mango flavor, just add in more puree. You don't want as much, add in a little bit less and add in a little bit more of your ginger beer. Also, if you want it to be sweeter, you certainly could add your preferred sweetener to the puree and then, you know, just play with it and make it work for you. This green, Organic Greens powder definitely changes the flavor a little bit. I do taste it a little bit, but I think it tastes delicious. So have fun with this one. Oh, and store your leftover puree in the refrigerator so you can enjoy it for the next couple of days. Thanks so much for being with me today and being part of the Organics family. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen.